Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Budehas, your online math teacher. In today's video, you will learn quartiles for ungroup data. This is one of the measures of position. There are three measures of position. Quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. But in this video, I'll be talking about quartiles. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to accurately compute quartiles of ungrouped data, properly illustrate quartiles of ungrouped data, and correctly solve problems involving quartiles. Let's start. Let's define first what are quartiles. Quartiles are points that divide a ranked data into four equal parts. Each set of data has three quartiles denoted by Q sub i, where i is equal to 1, 2, and 3. So we have the first quartile, second quartile, and the third quartile. First quartile. First quartile or the Q sub 1, it is a number such that 25% of the data are smaller compared to the value of the first quartile. And 75% are larger compared to the first quartile. It represents the middle value of all values to the left of the median. So if this is the median, now we have two parts, the left side and the right side of the median. Now first quartile, it represents the middle value of all values to the left of the median. It is also called the lower quartile. If there are n observations in a set of data, the first quartile is the one-fourth of n plus one observation when the data are arranged ascendingly. So we need to arrange first the data into ascending order, then finding what observation does the value of Q sub 1 lies. Next, we have the second quartile. Second quartile, it is a number such that 50% of the data are below the second quartile and the other 50% is above the second quartile. It is also called the median. If there are n observations in a set of data, the second quartile is the half of n plus 1 observation when the data are arranged ascendingly. Take note, it is half of n plus 1 observation. This n here is the number of observation. Next, we have the third quartile or Q sub 3. It is a number such that 75% of the data are smaller in the value of Q sub 3. Again, 75% of the data is smaller compared to that of the third quartile. And the other 25% are larger than Q sub 3. It represents the middle value of all values to the right side of the median. It is also called the upper quartile. If there are n observations in a set of data, the third quartile is the three-fourth of n plus one observation when the data are arranged ascendingly. Again, three-fourth of n plus one. This is the illustration that shows the position of the three quartiles in a ranked data. L is the lowest value and H is the highest value. So this is already in order, in ascending order. Now each part has 25%. So this rank data uh, divided into four equal parts. Each part has 25%, a total of 100%. Now 
we have this. This is the first quartile, the second quartile, and the third quartile. Whatever the value that will, uh, that is of the point Q sub 3, that is the value of Q sub 3. Next is the interquartile range. This is the difference between the upper and the lower quartiles of a set of data. Upper quartile is pertaining to the third quartile and lower quartile is pertaining to the first quartile. It is used to measure the spread of a set of data. This is not one of the measures of position. This is uh, the measure of how spread the scores are. And this is not affected by outliers. For example, if Q sub 3 is equal to 15 and Q sub 1 is equal to 4, then the interquartile range using the formula Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1, then we have 15 minus 4 is equal to 11. Okay, let's try some examples about the interquartile range and the quartiles of ungrouped data. For example, number 1, given a set of data with Q sub 1 is equal to 45.5, Q sub 2 is equal to 58.25 and Q sub 3 is equal to 84.55. Find the interquartile range. Okay, to find the interquartile range, we need to substitute the Q sub 3 and the Q sub 1 into the formula of the interquartile range. So we have 84.55 minus 45.5 that is equal to 39.05 and that is the interquartile range example number two the values in a set of data are as follows 12 12 13 16 14 22 17 19 25 21 15 13 16 18 20 Find the first quartile, second quartile, and the third quartile. Okay, as you observe, the given set of data here is not yet in order. So, we are going to arrange first the set of data in ascending order and then determine the number of observations. So, the number of observations here is equal to 15. There are 15 observations. And then the arranged data is this. So the lowest value is 12 and the highest value is 25. This is now in ascending order. Next is find the Q sub 1 or the first quartile using the formula because we can found the first quartile on the one-fourth of n plus one observation. So solve for this, one-fourth of n plus one using the value of n, which is equal to 15. And now we have one-fourth of 15 plus one. 15 plus one is equal to 16, and one-fourth of 16 is equal to four. It means that you can find your first quartile or the qu value of the first quartile in the fourth observation of the arranged data. So from the lowest value, we'll count 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, the first quartile is equal to 13. Next, solve for the second quartile. Second quartile is found on the one half of n plus one observation. So we need to solve for one half of n plus one using the value of n or the number of observation, which is equal to 15 observation. And now we have one half of 15 plus one. 15 plus one is 16 and one half of 16 is eight. So the second quartile is found on the eighth observation. In the arranged set of data, the eighth observation is equal to 16. Therefore, second quartile is equal to 16. Lastly, we have solved for the third quartile. 
Take note again that, three, uh, that the third quartile is found on the three-fourth of n plus 1 observation. So we need to solve for the three-fourth of n plus 1 with n is equal to 15. And now we have three-fourth of 15 plus 1. 15 plus 1 is 16. Three-fourth of 16 is equal to 12. Or 3 times 16, that is 48. 48 divided by 4 is 12. Meaning that Q sub 3 is found on the 12th observation. In the arranged set of data, the 12th observation is equal to 20. Therefore, third quartile is equal to 20. And that's all for today. Now, I want you to solve for these two problems under individual practice. First problem, the upper and the lower quartiles of a set of data are 36.75 and 18.25 respectively. What is the interquartile range of the data? And second problem, a set of data contains the following values. Find first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, and the interquartile range. Now, I want you to comment your answers below so that I can check if you really learn from this discussion. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.